Lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pat Beauty. Um, it's a little haul video, super drug haul. I needed one thing, one thing, and I have um, six beauty items to share with you. Couldn't resist. So, we will begin. The first, the first one you've seen before many times. Um, it's the Zoella Soak Opera Bath Soak and Shower Cream. I love this. I think it's fantastic value. Five quid for a 490ml bottle. Last ages and I love the smell of this shower gel. It's so refreshing. It has sort of got that floral um, level but it's rich enough for me to actually like it because I'm not a floral person at all but I really love this. It's also not drying on the body. You do get shower gel sometimes that when you step out the shower you feel as though your skin's been sanded down and it's so dry. But I, I really like this and I haven't had one for quite some time and I spotted it and thought, yeah, need to get another one of those. So that Jan Arms bottle. Um, I was having a swivel of the Makeup Academy stand as I tend to do. I remember as a child I used to love the rotating stands and I still do. I like to stand there and feel I'm in control of all that makeup. Um, and I spotted the Makeup Academy, it's their new foundation and it was £2 something. They had it on offer, a launch offer, which is just ridiculous. It is matte perfect foundation and I don't generally wear matte. Um, any longer. I don't really like it. However, I read a review on Elegant Ages Beauty. I'll put a link to her blog below. And she said it didn't leave her skin completely matte. It had almost a, a softness, like a sheen to it, which I really like. Um, I did struggle for colours because they had ivory something or ivory flush. And I went for ivory flush because it has a pink tone through it. So we'll see about the colour. But it's a soft and smooth foundation with vitamins A, E and Ahoba to create the perfect flawless matte complexion. So we'll see. We'll see what it's like. But two, I think it was about two forty nine or two seventy nine a launch price. So I just thought, yeah, it's a ridiculous price, and it's a thirty two mil foundation for goodness sake. Um, hmm, we'll see. I'll let you know. My next item is from Bourjois and it's their new concealer. I really like their City Limits foundation that they've brought out and they have Radiance Reveal which is a hydrating concealer, 24 hour hydration, it corrects and illuminates. And I have shade 02 Beige. Again, really struggled with the shades, they didn't have a lot on offer and I found this hiding at the back of the stand and intact because so many had been opened. People just didn't use the test as they opened the actual product. Um, when I tried it in the shop, yeah, really liked it, liked the colour. It's got the doe foot applicator and I liked the feel of the product. So I will let you know, it's really hard to tell until it's on the face. A lot of my concealers are coming to the end of their lifespan now and I really need to sort of look for something else and I always like to pick new things up. So I've got that to try. Next, um, I'd seen these online and thought, oh, it's just another highlighter. And also, I must say that the colours online do not look anything like the colour in store. So please be warned about that. There was one shade that I thought, oh, I, I might get that. And when I seen it in store, I'm glad I didn't. It was quite scary and gold. It's the Gosh Lumi Drops. And I've got 002 Vanilla and they are beautiful. They give such a beautiful light to the face without that sort of shimmer. So you get a natural sheen. Really lovely. I loved how it worked when I had it on the back of my hand and against the lights. Beautiful consistency, very soft, very lightweight. Really excited to try these. Um, next, this I have seen a lot. And I really can't remember the lovely blogger who said to me, I've got it and they're really good and I'm so, so sorry. If you're watching this and you remember our conversation on Twitter, if I remember, I will put a link to the lovely lady's blog. If I don't, please let me know so I can rectify that because I'm so sorry, your name has just disappeared out of my head. 
Um, anyway, I digress. I'm desperately trying to think what she was called. Anyway, I've been thinking about getting the Clarins lip oil. And when I needed a few bits and boots the other week, nothing exciting, nothing that you want to see in a haul, I thought, oh, I'm going to get some out of stock. How annoying. And then I saw that Gosh had brought out a lip oil. And I read a review on this. Oh, I can't remember so annoying. I read a review and the blogger had the Clarins and the Gosh and felt they were very similar. So it was my mission to get some of the lip oil and I've gone, there's four shades, I have gone I think for the reddest, the darkest, which is Raspberry 004. Um, this is completely new, it was all sealed, but yes, it's sort of already here for the quantity. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh. Right. That's quite <laughs> that's quite odd. I'm trying to think how to describe this without it sounding revolting. It has a sweetness through it, which is lovely. But it also it smells of oil. But it's got that sort of smell that sometimes you know when you have an oil and it can almost smell like sick. I don't want to put you off. I'm very funny about the smell of things. It does have a hint of, yes. There doesn't seem to be a lot of product in there, to be honest, I'm quite disappointed. There's a lot of air, but the product is actually looking more and more disappointing as I'm looking. Um, nice texture, very, very subtle hint of colour, very subtle hint, but it does feel very, very, very nice. You won't be able to see anything, I doubt, but, oh gosh. I can smell the sort of sweetness through, but the oil smell is very, very strong. And it does smell a little bit of sick. I'm so sorry to say that. That's the only way I can describe it to you. Not sure. I need to try it. I don't want to put it over um, my lipstick, to be honest. But I will come back to you and let you know about this. If you have the Clarins lip oil, what does that smell like? Somebody please tell me. I'm not sure now about this. I, I, and looking at it, it's not going to change anything, is it? Let's be honest. Disappointed immediately that the product content isn't great. I do understand that when you're using something like this sort of gel oil formula, you need space because of the air and making it work. I understand it can't be packed full or it'll just explode out the top. But yes, a little bit disappointed in the quantity. And I'm not 100% sure on the smell, but that's very personal. So these are just my personal opinions. But this one I'm not certain about yet. And finally, I don't know why I bought this. I just saw the tester and I thought, gosh, that's a beautiful colour. Um, and I'm leaning towards pinks. I don't know, what, whenever I wear them on camera, so many of you comment and say you like the pink. One or two have said I actually prefer you in pink than red. <gasps> um, but it's good to hear your opinions. And it's the Makeup Revolution um, lipstick, which are beautifully packaged. Very, the dome-like thing, which reminds me a lot of the MAC lipsticks. I think it's two pounds for a lipstick. Um, yeah, and I got, we were lovers oh and it's a proper i'm not going to do a swatch because at this moment in time it is so perfect to lipstick you can actually see where they've cut the angle it's just i love new lipsticks they're a thing of beauty they're art in their own way beautiful i really don't want to spoil it by applying it or doing this swatch for you i'm sorry very naughty of me but that is just beautiful and it's pink and lovely and I liked it I'll do a swatch what the heck it's only a lipstick okay quite a gentle um, application I do like that I like it that's really pretty really pretty color Oh, now it's all spoiled. I am funny about it. I used to love cleaning lipsticks on counter. It was one of my favourite jobs to sort of clean them off 
with a cotton bud and there's an art to it and over the years I've perfected it but it was one of my favourite methodical jobs and you can imagine Yves Saint Laurent and lipsticks there were a lot of lipsticks and you obviously clean them and it's quite a process to keep makeup hygienic on counter because when you see how people treat testers it's horrifying um, but I did used to love cleaning lipsticks and taking them to an edge and everything yeah okay must have a smell oh that smells lovely smells of chocolate chocolate and vanilla really nice so excited about that and those beauties are my little haul video as simple as that very dangerous for me when I'm in that kind of mood of browsing I always find something. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to have a play with everything and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care everybody. Bye for now.